I found something out. If we return here, which is the first elixir well that we've already completed, it is still an enshrouded location, okay? So if we then go down, right? We go over here, up here to where this little loot chest is. We get a new crackling wand, which... Oh, has like three different levels of protection on it. That's kind of cool. But then if we keep going down, if we go all the way down back to where we were, where we fought that boss originally, the first of these like uh, elixir well bosses, you can see that the tree thing is back, right? So my, f my thought that these things were one and done and that was kind of why people were upset about server stuff is wrong. Because if I go through here, look who we've got. Bell Thunderbrew is back. He's still here. We can do this fight all over again. It's much easier now I've got fire magic because apparently that kind of wrecks these fellas. But my point stands. We can just do this fight again. He dies. We get all these. Oh, he dropped a different loot that time. He's dropped. Oh, interesting. Okay. See, this is new. This is new to me. The, the, both the first and the second time I killed him, he dropped Misfortune's Mace. But now he's dropping a guillotine. Ooh, interesting. How does this thing swing? Pretty much identical swing patterns, actually. Identical swing patterns and identical uh, damage. Interesting. All right, well, I prefer axes, so we can just salvage this weapon. Same with this wand. We're going to salvage the wand because the one we've got is like it has a better upgrade. It's upgrade does fire damage. But yeah, that means that these bosses are actually farmable, which I didn't realize until I came back here a moment or two ago, uh, thinking I could use this well half an hour or so ago while I was farming some resources, thinking I could use this place to fast travel out of the shroud. I came down into the shroud for the shrouded wood required to make our glider, tried to fast travel out, realized I couldn't do that, and then walked over here to see if I could fast travel out. And I couldn't because the place had gone all evil again. So this place is farmable. That boss dude is farmable. That means God knows how many different types of weapons he can drop. That's really kind of cool. But yeah, I just I didn't know that. Right, so. We can now, let's just kill these guys while we're here quickly. I keep pressing alt to dodge, but it's not. Alt is like change my hotbar. So I don't know why I've got alt as dodge in my head. I wonder if that's a, a Dark Souls thing or something. But I just want the XP from killing these guys. Because it takes basically no effort. Okay, we're actually almost at another level up, which is really cool. Right, let's travel back to our base. Fast travel. Okay, so. In addition to the little blacksmith hut, I have ringed the perimeter of our base. So this is as far as we're allowed to currently build. I've ringed it with stone and I've started flattening this hill here. I'm thinking... We could have this as like the inner keep, maybe. I'm really not sure how I'm going to build just yet, but yeah. So we've, that's all we've done in terms of building. We've just ringed this with stone. Right, we can spend some skill points. Let's have a look at that first before we move on. So three seconds instead of six to revive an ally is just no use to us. Because we're not going to be playing with any allies. Um... I'm wondering what's down in wizard. So attacking with a magical weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. Spirit attribute. Oh, so this increases mana. Right, so the wizard thing increases spirit and then battle mage down here increases intelligence, which increases magic damage. So we can get this, which increases our intelligence. We can get 
Hmm. On a successful parry. Can we parry with this? We can't actually parry. Right, here's a question. Can we make a shield? Do you make shields? You do, don't you? Let's see. Shields. We need string, metal sheets, and wooden logs. I'd like to just go straight to the nice shield. Let's make some string quickly. Because if I can parry while I'm holding the wand, then that's actually a useful skill. If we can do like... So this does reset. This little hole here does reset. I'm wondering if terrain changes outside of our base reset. I'm wondering if that's how it works. So if you if you like dig a hole outside of your base zone, that resets. That would make sense, I suppose. But hopefully it doesn't reset inside your base. Right. Just grab some stuff for some string. Okay, please tell me I can make enough string now. Crafting string. That's a lot of string. There we go. Okay, so it was string, sheet metal, and wood, I think. Wood logs. Logs, logs, logs. And then metal sheets. And make me a shield. Nice, right. Please, 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 please work. Otherwise, I've just wasted some of my metal sheets, and I don't have very many of those. They're not a super common <laughs> resource for me right now let's see though yes so we can block we can parry with the wand that's cool okay so that is a useful skill for us to have so we can go into this arcane deflection skill and then we can go down to another intelligence skill Here's another intelligence skill. And then these ones are spirit. We're not, I'm not super keen on spirit just yet. Then in this sort of ring here, there isn't really much. Increases the enemy's stun bar on parry attacks. Minor quality gear, mason. I, like These could be quite useful for quality of life stuff. Dexterity. Endurance for stamina is not actually a bad idea at all. Strength is melee damage. Constitution is health. We probably will want spirit eventually, but we can't really get it right this second. So for now, I think that's enough spells. We should hit a bit harder. And we've got ourselves a shield. Okay. Going to put all of my stuff away and then i'm gonna put a little bit more sheet metal into craft uh if i can just because i think that would not be a bad idea all right we have a decent amount of runes cool sheet metal is oh no ember veil can be reclaimed collect sparks and offer them at the flame altar to strengthen the flame sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines Okay, so we can strengthen the flame now as well. We've got 35 metal here. Let's plop that in. That should craft along nicely now. Uh, 16 more of that's clued up. Uh, so we've got the Ancient Spire. Commune with the flame again. As your skills are honed, the power of the flame grows. You must determine the best path for your skills in our grim endeavor against the Shroud. Okay. We should be able to strengthen the flame no upgrade the altar which requires a shroud core that's cool right so what do we got on our map then we got some quests on our map right now we've got flame altar and base improvements mend old wounds and the ancient spires he really wants the blacksmith really wants me to do the ancient spires so let's use our grappling hook new grappling hook and glider for the first time and let's see if we can't cross this bridge first though I realize I've got some junk in my inventory. There we go. So, there should be an enemy on the other side of the bridge. Because there was, that very first time when we went up there, there was a, a dude with a bow, I think. Can I glide down here? I can! That's, oh, that's funky. 
Okay, that's strange. The gliding is a bit weird. <laughs> right, how easy is this bridge to cross now we've got our grapple? Pretty easy, god dang, okay. What do we got here? Metal scraps. I don't think I need the water, but metal scraps are good. Oh no, I was worried that this was going to be like just a drop underneath, but no, it's not. It's fine. Uh, we got a dead fella. Got some metal scraps, explosives, and animal fur. They're all quite useful. You can swing across some caverns using a grappling hook. Ow. Okay, I did that wrong, I think. <laughs> How do I get up? Let me up. There we go. All right, let's try that again. Ah! Okay, I messed that up so badly, but we got across in the end, and that's what matters. Disarm these traps again so we don't, you know, stand on them and die. Then let's see about this dude. He's not here. Oh, okay. There is no dude today. We could go and deal with these two that gave us so much trouble right at the beginning. I just kind of want to test out our new shield and how much damage we do now. We've put those two points, three points, I think, into intelligence. Mm, let's do that. Let's go poke these. Hi. So he resists fire. That doesn't feel incredible. Okay, we are blocking. We're losing stamina. That's what's happening. We're blocking damage and losing stamina, which is, I think, fairly typical of these types of weapons. Okay, yeah, so we can't use that with a shield. That's a bit shit. So one-handed weapon and shield probably is the way. The fact that these guys resist flames is a bit not great. Although I suppose it's strong against the the shroud enemies, so that's good. Right. Blacksmith wants us to climb up this peak here. What was that? I heard a howl. I don't think the wolves are that big a threat, so it's fine. Let's just move up. Speaking of wolves. The wolves don't like fire. That's kind of cool. Road is blocked. A grappling hook is required access. Okay, so we can just go. Oop, and we're up. We are not. We are within range, just about. So we can kind of just tickle this guy from a distance and block his shots without really being in any danger actually doesn't look like he can be hit from this distance though yeah i think this thing is actively worse than the ice one against these guys they just flat out resist the fire but I don't have my ice one with me, so we're going to just kind of have to live with it for now and hope for the best. Speaking of, maybe we get lucky and we get... No, we get a bow. Okay. Imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan's stone-cold finger bones, the mark of a hidden tomb. The stairs inside lead into darkness, Torch in hand, you slip down into uncertainty, into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls to you. Left to rot in the dust, is it family jewels? Heirlooms from faraway shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire. The cornerstone to a fortress raised from spilled blood. Sounds good. I know the rough location. If you take up the search, Gareth, I'll split the goods. Deal. <laughs> Okay, so somewhere there's a, an ancient tomb that we can go and search for. We need to go up. 
So I think we go around here to the left if we can. Oh wow, that's a lot of flint. What happens if you like dig out a mountain? Does everything collapse or does stuff float? What on earth is this thing too? Oh shit, there's level 5 stuff down there. We're going to get wrecked if we touch that. Oh, please tell me there isn't going to be a bunch of level 5 enemies up here guarding this place. There are going to be a bunch of level 5 enemies up here guarding this place, aren't there? Who are probably all going to resist our fire damage. This is gorgeous, though. Look at it. So we need to make our way up this tower. Ancient Spire Springlands. Ancient spire beacons of light. These spires stretch to the fir firmament, firmament and deny entry to those who are unworthy. The ancient breed enters, but I never see them leave. I have two theories. One, the ancient spires are somehow connected to one another and the silent ones travel between them as they please. Two, the ancient spires serve as a burial site similar to the flame shrine. The ancients store all knowledge of the land and the flame here when they leave the mortal plane. One way or another, I cannot enter. When I step on the ornate plate, nothing occurs. What a shame. Balthazar. Casually dismantle a book. Okay. So something should happen when we step on this. Oh, well, something happened, all right. We're in. But what exactly are we in? Some doors are locked, but can be opened by finding and pressing the correct button. Okay. Button mechanics. That looks like a town down there. Oh, a treasure chest. Nice. Give me another wand. <gasps> oh, shepherd's lightning, a level three staff. Using spell charges and mana, equip spell charges to cast. We don't, I don't know how. How do I equip spell charges? I don't know how I equip spell charges. I don't know if there's something I haven't found yet or, or what. I, I don't know how to find these things. But that's cool that we found a, sta a leveled staff. Location is still above. Oh, okay. So we just go up these stairs. Or not. Ah! Ah! Nice. Need to start using the grapple. Need to start looking up for potential grapple spots now that we've got it. What is this? Is this just wax? Yeah. Okay. So we can go down to where those spikes are. I'm just curious if there's maybe another chest. Yes, there is. It's only a little chest. Whoa! Staff charges, level 5, equipable. Here we go. Magical ammunition that creates a single bolt of ice, damaging enemies. Spell depletes after use. Equip the spell and use mana to cast it with a staff. So there's only... So you only get 10 uses of it. Oh, so the spells are like... Properly limited use. Huh. Maybe I've uh, made a mistake during magic build then. At least with like melee, for example, it's not a limited use thing. Right, I'm guessing we can jump onto whatever that mesh is there. I'm guessing we can like... There we go, yeah. 
then go along to the side and then go oh no, no no there we go we're good we're good we're good <laughs> something in the jar oh some honey the heck this is just taking us down we're now behind a door let's see oh god it's one of those right so and through this door through this door holy shit okay see there's that's a thing there isn't it like look all right so if i go over here yeah this is the obvious route all right here and then up it looks like there's something up here <sighs> button what does that what has that done I genuinely don't know what that button has done. No! Okay, it's fine. I thought it might kill us instantly, but it doesn't. It doesn't kill us instantly at all. <laughs> it just tickles us. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, it literally just tickles us. Okay, fair enough. Probably didn't need to panic quite as much as I did then. Don't I want to know what that opened, but I don't know. It might have opened something up through the next entrance, though, because it does seem to be pushing us quite heavily to go across there. So we can. Oh, so there's another ancient tower over there. Is that another one over there? How much of the map is like accessible? I, I got told that a lot of it isn't open yet due to it being early access. Like I will say the desert area over there looks a little polygony. You know, sort of that sort of place. But that could just be distance. Is there anything to loot up here before I commune with the flame? you have any great treasures for me no i don't think you do that's somewhat disappointing flame let's commune with the flame these ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of embervale venture forth child the land must be reclaimed okay what did it give us then did it give us a skill point i'm not sure let's see i th don't think it did no it didn't give us a skill point it just unlocked some places on the map by the look of things we've got ancient hun ancient vault hunter ancient vault carpenter ancient vault alchemist ancient vault farmer flame sanctum hidden tomb entrance wood guard Another two elixir wells. One quite near, actually. And another flame sanctum. Let's go to this nearby... Nearby well, then. Down here, is it? Yeah, pretty much straight. It's there, basically, isn't it? Okay. I don't want to use too much stamina up, so I'm just falling for the most part. Right, so it should be right below us, basically. Watch it be really, really high level now. Watch it just get absolutely smoked. Do we have anything useful in our inventory? Uh, 
the spells kind of we'll put the spell there maybe what is that I think that oh, okay so that there's wood guard place we've marked is like directly below us yeah it's like right underneath us so there's realistically only one way we're gonna find out and that's by just going for it to be honest nice okay i don't even see any enemies so i can't even like make a rough estimate of how bad this is gonna be for us I see a chest there, though. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, I'm being swamped. Oh, there's little bugs. Little bugs of death. <laughs> okay, shit, 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 shit. What do we get, though? We got a level three mace. So maybe this place isn't like super high level then. Right, I mean, there's an enemy right there. Let's see. They're just level three. Two of them. There's another one here. You gonna give me a level? Oh, you got a power attack. Cool. Okay, so they can get through the shield with like power attacks. Heal channel, staff charges. Nice. So we're getting more spell stuff now. I do feel like maybe one more would give us the level we need to. Would give us the XP we need to level up. Possible. I'd like to do that before we go down into the boss area. But I can't actually see anyone moving around. I'm sure it'll be fine. We got explosives. Explosives usually deal with problems. Down here. So what is the boss this time? Oh no, there's there's little enemies down here. We have to fight our way to the boss this time. Not quite enough. Maybe enough. Maybe a couple more kills and we get the XP we need. Are you going to do it? Yes, there we go. Level four. Nice. So we should now be able to go into skills and get ourselves. Wait, what? How do we have three? I'm so confused. How do we now have three? So confuddled. I mean, I think we want that one. But we'll just keep going. I wonder if this one actually has a proper boss or if it's just lots of little guys. Someone just saw me. I just see lots of little dudes. Oh shit, that was not good. That was really not good. Some of them are a bit stronger than others. Like these guys here without the shields, they're quite tough.
but I think I think that's it I think we can just chop the tree there doesn't seem to be like a little boss dude here but at least we're not I want to give a skill point for doing it for the first time at least we're not enshrouded anymore in the shroud we can kill everyone to our heart's content now slowly and peacefully ow could you not do that rude thank you oh that guy hits hard that guy hits very hard no i pressed dodge and it failed oh getting back here is gonna take a while isn't it actually no it shouldn't do we should just be able to drop straight down from oh wait we respawn here getting down here will take absolutely no time at all then don't know if i like that that feels a little bit of a cop out like it just respawns you just outside of where you died oh god shit 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 Oof. Less than ideal, there's two of them. Less than ideal, there's two of them. Lack of stamina. Yep. Completely lack my stamina. Oh. So I just cannot fight them if I don't have stamina. Right. That is apparently too far to fall. This is going well. I'm going to say that. This is going swimmingly well. Let's eat the food. Let's buff myself back up. Oh, dear. What have I done? Right. Wish I could use the grapple to, like, fall down certain things. Okay, there we go. Let's go back onto the right section hopefully all my stuff is still here i don't know what happens if you die multiple times i think all the stuff is still there because i've only died and dropped my stuff once there you are you little shit come here ah i've got stamina now i can avoid you <laughs> nice Are they gonna like keep spawning out of that doorway maybe? I'm not sure, but we've got a really cool looking chest here. The Ring of Endless Life. Plus 3% life leech chance. Huh. Not sure how much I want that. What are we damaging here? Oh, okay, so we can break these. If these things are spawning enemies, they can be broken. That's good to know. There's another chest over there. My wand is low on durability. My big axe does okay against all the bugs. That's kind of good. Oh, we can co Oh, shit. We collect the bugs. The bugs are made of bits. There are bits of bugs. I'm a bit concerned that they're going to keep spawning unless I break something over there. Yeah, they're going to just keep spawning, aren't they? Which I suppose means that Critter parts are very farmable, but at the same time, go away. Right. Where was that chest? There's that chest that we saw. There's the bug spawn area again. We just break it straight away. 
Yes. Just charge in and break it. That kind of worked, I guess. Need to start bringing more than one wand with me by the look of things. Another bow? I'd prefer wands, please, game. Uh, mycelium. What is that? Shroud liquid. I think we've got quite a lot of shroud liquids, though. That's not that cool. Ah, shit. Okay. Actually, do quite a bit of damage, these little bugs. The point where I'm thinking I'm just gonna. No! That's not what I intended! Break! 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 There we go. <laughs> I intended to throw the grenade at that, and instead it threw the grenade like it auto-targeted the... Uh... Shrouded guy. Which is interesting. Somewhat irksome. I think we've pretty much cleared out this place. So, not all of them have bosses then. Which is, I suppose, good to know. And there's another chest there. And it seems that this, like, because this one doesn't have a boss, but it had a better chest. It had, like, a gold chest. They gave us a legendary item. So... I'm out of stamina. So this is, if we farmed this one, maybe? If we killed, like, some monster, If we came back here, we might get le uh, legendary weapons. Or armor, potentially. I'm not sure how that works. Could just be that it only gives that one ring. Or it could be that it gives, like, uh, yellow quality gear. Or it could just be that we got really lucky that one time. We won't know until we've done it again. So, can I get out, please? There we go. Right, so that's two of these places that we've managed to clear out now. I think. So we've managed to clear out two of the wells, and we've unlocked one tower. Once we climb out of here, we should be able to see stuff a little bit better now. So there are still enemies around here, but they're not, like... They don't do anything. They, they respawn. So it's not like hunting them down is a priority. They don't give overly great stuff and they do respawn. There's a tombstone, whatever that is. There's obviously this town here, Woodguard, that we need to look at. And then I think these ancient vaults are other... Um, carrot crafts people that we can unlock. So we obviously we've got the blacksmith, I think. We've got the carpenter, the hunter... The alchemist and the farmer, by the look of things. Hmm. The hunter looks like he's the closest. Alchemist might be the best, though. Like, he might do po uh, potions. He might help with magic stuff. I don't know what these flame sanctums do, either. There's a lot of stuff left to, to explore still. Like... Stuff that we just don't know what they do like the flame sanctums just don't know what they do um i don't think anything attacks us at our base so i don't think there's any point in like overly fortifying this place or preparing to be attacked but we can definitely build for like prettiness what do the flames want the ancient voice con ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud yet some sparks still linger flickering in the dark a hunter wants the fiercest in the land and an alchemist with knowledge of the ages awaken them for they will help you along your journey right so it wants us to go get the hunter and the alchemist um can upgrade the building area with a shrouded core i think we've got one of those actually yeah shrouded core right okay so now the flame needs to be leveled up and then we need five shrouded cores this for the next one so how big does that actually make it so we used to be able to build out to here. Is it going to show me the border now? If I click this, will it show me the border? 
Ah, okay, so the border's now all the way out to here. That's quite large. That's quite a difference, actually. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like how big the, the building area is. I also like that it's just a big square, too. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for today. We've got and we've gone and done this ancient spire. And we've done the elixir well, another elixir well. We've got the Ancient Vault of the Hunter and the Ancient Vault of the Alchemist to do. We've got to mend old wounds, another elixir well, figure out whatever these flame sanctums are. And we've got the Farmer and the Carpenter as well. Then there's a couple of little sort of mini quests to do too around this area. I don't know if the map extends past what we're looking at here. But even if it doesn't, this has been, you know, this is a really fun experience so far. So... I will see you next time when we're going to go and add a few more craftsmen to our retinue. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.